So um, after Neo, after talking about what is the meaning of being reflective and uh, why do you need to be reflective, uh, and after another question, we come to how does being reflective benefit us? When we are reflective, Yanni, when we think about our actions, the good actions and the bad actions, we are more confident about ourselves because we have given it thought. We can be self-reliable. We cannot blame it on others. Reflection is very important in order to achieve self-reliability. You cannot, uh, you don't want to come at a stage in life when you've taken a decision and you, you can't blame somebody else for it. Your decision comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Through self-reflection, through, through your prayers. So it is very important that you are able to make decisions by yourself and be held accountable for it. Reflection enables us to build our character. As Hazirji has men had mentioned earlier, that character building begins from home. It is very important for us to have a reflection in our actions since the beginning. Uh, this, is, uh, this, is, this can be an advice to the mothers or to the older siblings for their younger siblings. If we practice reflection, we are able to help others practice reflection. And this can, have, this can be cultivated into a habit. So if you are self-reflective since the beginning, it is easier for us in the future to be reflective on our, on our actions. And we can implement this in the lives of our children, in the lives of our brothers and sisters, younger brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah. No, no, go back. Reflection can lead us to spirituality, which, as Hazidji had mentioned, is forever. Spirituality is not for the materialistic people. Spirituality is for those people who want success in the hereafter. And the hereafter is forever. So in order to achieve that, we need self-reflection. Reflection. Next, we come to how does reflection benefit the Ummah. So now we've come, now we've seen what is reflection, we've seen what it can do to us. So uh, the hadith says that whatever knowledge you have, you cannot keep it to yourself. You need to give it to others. That is the essence of Islam. You cannot keep the knowledge, you cannot keep the ill only to yourself. You have to give. So how do, by giving, we can benefit the Ummah. If we can become better believers through reflection, we can help others to reflect upon themselves with a clear intention, with a good intention. We do not want others to reflect, we don't want others to practice reflection by making them feel bad about it or making them feel um, lower than us. No, for us, and this, uh, this is a very delicate matter, that here your niyat is very important with what intention you want others to self-reflect. And establish an example for your brother, for what your Muslim brothers and sisters. We can create a family of Shaheens, the Shaheen that Allah like Barahmatullah had envisioned for this Ummah. We can create a family of those birds which have the qualities, all the five qualities and even reflection for the betterment of this Ummah, for the to accomplish the vision that Allah like Barahmatullah had. Just like a love